Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. Let's solve the lit code problem 136 single number. It is a like a very common problem in interviews. So let's use the problem statement and under, understand the example. So given a non-empty array of integers, every element appears twice except for one. Find that single one. So for us it is given an array and every element occurs two twice while the one element is once and we have to find that element and your algorithm should be linear runtime complexity and could be implement without using extra memory so we should not use extra memory so in example one we have three elements where two occurs twice and one occurs once so one is the answer of this example in example two we have five elements where four is once one is twice and two is twice occurs so four is the answer so first if we think on the simple like very first brute force approach it is sort the array if we sort the array using the uh, inbuilt sorting functions or the merge sort or quick sort those are in like done in n log n time complexity without using extra space so that time complexity of that brute force solution is will be n log n so one we can do with let me write down here by sorting so this will be o of and log n and the space complexity is o of 1 so but we have to implement the linear solution so let's optimize the solution and in that second case let's optimize our running time complexity so if we want to achieve in o of n time complexity what we can do we can use a one storage which is let's say hash map and we will keep insert the value numbers in the hash map if it is not already exist if it is exist then we can remove that element itself so this can be achieved in o of n and the space complexity but space complexity is also here o of n but we have to do in a constant space so how can we solve so let's think about the binary operations like bitwise operation so let me explain you few binary operations so how bitwise jar is work so let's i have a number x which is let's say 4 and if we represent its binary representation that will be 110 and i have another number y which is let's say 2 and if i represent it in the binary representation of 3 bit 0 1 0 if i do the x jar by bitwise jar then I will get so bitwise or of if it is the same bit same bit is 0 both of the same bit 0 and if it is both are opposite bits so then it will give 1 so 1 1 0 so we will get this 1 1 0 and this is a binary representation of oh, 6 so we got 6 so this is a how bitwise jaw we work let's try the bitwise jaw of x jaw x itself and see what will get we will get if we do so every bits of the bitwise of both is same so we will always get the zero so if we do if we do the bitwise jar of the same number we will get zero so how we will use this approach in our problem as we know every number is exists twice and the number one is exist like one of the number is exists one so if we do the bitwise jars of the twice numbers we always get the zero and let's try another thing what will we get if we do bitwise jar of x with zero so here we are doing bitwise jar of 100 bitwise jar with 000 so here we will always get the same x if we do the bitwise jar of x with a zero we will always get x so this is the approach we will use to solve this problem so let's write down the code so let me take a variable jar which will be start from the zero because if we do jar with zero we always get the number and then we will run the integer num in nums and simply we will do the jar of x with bitwise jar of x with num so whatever we will get in the end we will get the single number so return the jar so let me go walk through this code in the example given here first example so 2 2 1 so the example here example how it will work so example 1 
we have array array two two one two two one. So if we do the bitwise jar of uh, bitwise jar of this guy two and this guy, if we do the bitwise jar, then we will get zero and after 0 we will do bitwise or with 1 so this two number we did the bitwise or here and then we do the bitwise or then again we will get the 1 so this is our answer so let's try to compile our code oh i missed the semicolon here so it's the mistake but yeah, we are getting correct answer. Let us submit our code and see it is accepted. So, the time complexity of this solution using the bitwise jar using the third solution which is time complexity is O of n and in a O of 1 basically constant space just we use the jar variable. Thank you. If you like my solution, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for the future upcoming videos.